What's up everyone, this is David here from Bloopers Videos and Collectibles and today I got another eBay unboxing for y'all and um, let's go ahead and open this box up and see what we got and as you could probably guess judging my background <laughs> um, this box right here is a little weird so uh, the way he packets the, the seller packets this thing it's kind of awkward so I'll just have to uh, go ahead and take the stuff out. Uh, if you just give me a second, let me go ahead and try to open this thing up. All right, as you can tell, this is how the uh, seller packaged this thing. Um, it was a little odd how to open it. And you can tell it's shoe box. So it was all folded out like all this shit all in the pieces but I mean it was very clever don't get me wrong and um, it seemed kind of complicated at first but once I managed to figure it out I was able to do everything but um, yeah this is how it came and um, nice and packaged bubble wrapped so it did have protection on it um, so let's go ahead and uh, take these out and take a closer look at them okay so I, I managed to go ahead and take these out no problem and um, the, he had it nice and packed in there stuffed with the bubble wrapping on all the sides and everything so it wasn't too complicated but um, let's go ahead and uh, look at uh, each individual package um, I'll probably just do one package overall the front and back but the rest of them I won't do it because it's pretty much the same thing except for the uh, uh, card art for the, the Predator we'll go over those but uh, right, let's go ahead and uh, get started okay first up we have is the uh, Spike Tail Predator and uh, as you can tell I do have him loose and um, yeah just uh, finally have some Predators to go along with my uh, um, alien collection from Kenner that has his own card I did uh, well I'll, I'll mention that later but uh, yeah let's go ahead and go over this uh, uh, card art um, as you can tell uh, they have the uh, predator right here on the right side right side <laughs> excuse me the right hand side of the card and on the uh, the aliens one, it'd be on the, usually be on the left hand side with the uh, the creature on the on the on the right hand. But uh, on top of the package, it says the ultimate alien hunter, predator, and this says uh, spike tail predator throwing punishing assault discs. And uh, on the top left hand corner, it says new exclamation mark. And then uh, here we have HS4 and up. That's me. And uh, we have this wonderful art with the spike tail throwing the disc. And I, I always love these, uh, the way Kenner does all these packages and stuff and how they have uh, their figures in, in uh, action mode. <clears throat> so, and then we have on the background, we have the explosion, as you could tell. Probably paying homage to the movie, the original movie. And uh, here we got a bunch of price tag stickers. So I guess this was at Walmart. And I think this was probably the uh, clearance. It went from 6 bucks to $3.46 to two fifty. So hmm, I really was trying to get rid of this thing. But anyways, um, right here we have the uh, spike tail, and then these are the accessories. My later on, I'll have to go and remove all this stuff, you know. But I ain't gonna do it right now. Probably just leave them on there because this is the way it came. So, but yeah, this is the uh, accessories with the discs and um, the mask. So, kind of like a cyborgish type predator. And on the back of the package, it 
it says if you want to pause and read that you may um, on the left hand side it says alien versus predator two pack and this is uh, advertising a two pack right here and this is the first predator that we got in the line once the uh, original series of the aliens had ran its course and um, that's these two are like the first actual movie accurate <clears throat> alien predators that we got um, that everybody was excited for and then below we have the all the aliens I think this is from series two and three and um, here we have uh, all the predators that came in uh, series one crack dust scavenge stalker and spike tail along with the predator clan leader which as you can see these are the ones that I have and uh, then down here it shows you how to uh, do the accessories so if you want to pause and read that and over here is a proof of purchase and then Kenner Made in China, Alien Predator, copyright 1986, 94, 98, 1987, 20th Century Fox. So yeah, that's the uh, Spike Tail Predator. Next up we have the uh, uh, Crack Test Predator. And if you had seen my last... Uh, uh, eBay haul with the uh, laser shot predator. I did have one that was on mint on card, and um, that's that right there. And um, you know the drill. You know ultimate alien hunter predator, crack test with firing pulse cannon. And that's I, I like that. I like that uh, artwork right there. It's I think that's really cool. It's got the uh, missile shooting out of its pulse cannon. And we have the uh, crack tusk. He's missing part of his tusk. And the weapons. And you can tell these are real bulky weapons and everything. The background. Like the laser blast shot. Explosion. And... Um, Actually, this back art is a little different than the other one. But if you want to pause and read that, you may. It pretty much says the same thing. And over here, it just shows Alien vs. Predator. It gives you all the deluxe aliens that were available at the time. And then some more aliens from Series 2 and 3. And these are all the vehicles. So... I do have the evac fighter and the power loader. I don't have this. I do need to get one of those eventually. And this was never released. And um, I think this is this was part a reused part from uh, I think either X Exo Squad or the Mask series. I'm not sure. But um, but yeah, it's a shame that this never came out because I know this would probably would have been a a popular uh, vehicle <clears throat> but I think uh, I think some people did take the previous vehicle that was used from the other two toy lines or toy line and they did some customs for it so and then um, here is the crack tusk um, instructions on how to do everything to use as uh, weapons and accessories And proof of purchase, crack test, Kenner. Alright, moving on to the next one. Here we have the Scavenge Predator. Now, there are uh, two different ver uh, versions of variants, or there's a variant of this. And from, I think I do have the uh, darker, darker one. 
and there's a lighter green one that's the same thing so uh, I'll have to track one of those down and uh, I do like the artwork here it's pretty cool now this weapon has been used plenty of times it's been used for Batman and Jurassic Park and um, Water World, and I'm pretty sure there's other other toy lines that Kenner has produced. So, you know, they're known to use and reuse weapons, especially stuff like this. <clears throat> so, again, this is probably from Walmart clearance. Knocked it down to 250. I wish I could find these for 250. <laughs> so. And on the back, here is the instructions on how to use the the bola. Why this isn't focusing? I don't know. But anyways, a lot of people didn't really know how to use the, that. Uh, you could use the staff to go in the middle to set it up because I think most people would just try to make the predator hold it and it would just fall over each time so there is a way so scavenge predator so I don't have him loose which is okay you know if I if I see some loose ones that are complete I always try to scoop those up <clears throat> so Moving on to the next one, we have the Stalker Predator. So, with the uh, glow in the dark and shoots spears. So, the translucent on this one is actually pretty decent, pretty good, because normally the, the translucent on this one would be like, it would go really dark, yellowish, you know. It wouldn't be really clear, so I'm pretty impressed that this hadn't really turned as much as I've seen others. Now, there's a variant of this one that was a KB exclusive that uh, doesn't go in the dark. He's just, like, green. It's like this color, you know, but not, not glow in the dark. <clears throat> and uh, same thing as well. So... We kind of got a ram head, a head of a ram. So, as you can tell, she dropped the spear. So, I love these translucent figures. Comes with three of them. There's this cannon that he holds. You can tell that he's got the, the alien tail wrapped around his arm. And here's got the. Yeah, let's see. If you, could, if you can tell, it's got an alien head right there in the middle of his chest. Probably he has armor. And then there's the tail wrapped around the uh, arm right there. Pretty neat. His feet. And back here. Oh yeah, not only wants to focus, but wouldn't want to focus on the last figure. But yeah, here's the Stalker Predators, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, instructions. And uh, there, there's what it looks like set up and it's all glowed in the dark. So. Yep, that's the uh, Stalker Predator. So, yeah, that's uh, my Mint on Card uh, collection right there that I have so far, along with the Laser Shot Predator. Um, and these are my loose figures right here. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look at Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, that's the Lava Predator, the Predator Clan Leader, Spike Tail Predator, and then that's the one that I just previously just showed the crack dust um i had opened him uh i had opened him recently and funny thing is 
when I had opened them, the smell of the plastic was so strong. I mean, it like hit me in my face. And uh, I was like, whoa. So after being in its shell for like 20 years or so, 20 plus years, and uh, yeah, it, that plastic smell, that was, <laughs> it wasn't bad or anything. It was just a strong plastic smell and, it, you know, it just, it just overtook you. But yeah, it's a good figure. Uh, the the joints and are, are tight, you know. I mean, they're not. It doesn't have that sticky residue that sometimes that some plastic uh, uh, figures have, you know. Because I mean, that slimy, sticky stuff residue. I guess it all depends on the type of plastic you use. But uh, but yeah, it's I, I like it. You know, it stands well. It doesn't. Uh, this is a uh, this is a uh, nice and tight right here. It's not loose or anything, but um, but yeah, uh, that's my little collection. Uh, I didn't I don't have my laser shot out here. It's it's in the other room, in the toy room. But uh, yeah, that that was my uh, little collection right here. Uh, I'm excited about collecting these predators. I, I'm so happy that I finally have these um, in my collection. And I uh, have way more aliens than I do got predators, but um, predators are pretty fairly expensive to come by these days. They average on card between 15 to $25, sometimes more, I guess. Why, I don't know. <laughs> so this is going to take me a while to, to finish this collection, you know. Um, if I do come across more loose ones, I'll pick those up, you know, either at Movie Trader or or wherever, you know, or a local seller. But anyways, um, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you're new, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so y'all can uh, get all my latest uh, videos as I upload them. And uh, please leave a comment and leave, excuse me, please leave a comment below if you uh, like this uh, toy line, if you collected them as a kid or if you're currently collecting them. And um, let me know uh, what your overall thoughts of these uh, of this toy line. And I will catch y'all later. Bye.